Hi and welcome to the part 4 of our interior galleries tutorial. After a few hours of interior galleries tutorial we finally got to the galleries part, yay! Uh, so, uh, as I talked about uh, in the first part of the tutorial, uh, we will now use all the theory that I uh, talked about getting right conditions for the galleries and right setup for the galleries and uh, this time I will show you how to how to put them in the practice. Okay, so first we need to get good lighting conditions. So let's get our daylight system. Uh, let's disable skylight. Make light Krana Sun, which lit it up pretty pretty significantly. Let's just center our compass. Add, uh, select the sun, add Corona Sky to the environment, boom, great. Now let's make it more of a evening, like this. Let's get through to the interior, which is now too bright as well. So uh, now we can go back to our camera and since we, we are not working on the shading anymore, we can just ditch this camera mod and we can just play around with the with the sun angle before i do that uh, this is not really any like physically accurate scene it's not like a photorealistic archives it's most like more like moody so uh, i'm gonna sacrifice some of the physical accuracy for better performance by uh, decreasing the max sample intensity okay now we just uh, let's play with the north direction a little bit so we get sun like pointing somewhere against the camera doesn't be, doesn't need to be too much <coughs> we are actually going to fine tune it later so now it's just you know rough rough setup okay so what's this window right here <coughs> oh that's render settings we don't need that anymore Let's add our volume box. This is will, this will be our volume. Again, what I said in the first first part, we need to have volume outside uh, a camera outside of our volume box. So just make it make it like this. So it uh, covers our entire room. Get back. Open Material Editor get corona volume material assign it and boom it crashed sorry about that it happens no software is perfect i'll be right back all right so i'm back scene is open back again uh, it's it has the volume material already assigned to the box nothing did crash so far so let's just try to carry on with this call it volume First thing I'm going to do is just set up some scattering color, like bright, so it's just foggy. And then I'm going to start to play with distance. Let's try 10 meters first. And as you can see, we are already getting some nice god rays effect right in here. Uh, again, uh, as I said, best thing to do when you are up to god rays is to enable single bounce only. As you can see, now we have a lot more contrast uh, into the god rays effect. And if we now just uh, select the sunlight, if I can find it actually, uh, we may try to play around uh, with the north, north direction to see how the direction of the sunlight affects our god rays. You can see this is a really strong and extreme effect because we have really good conditions for the gutter rays to occur. And also I'm going to boost the directionality to enforce a little bit of a forward scattering. So we boost this even further and now you can see we get extreme gutter rays. So maybe just try to get some better light angle. Something that will actually look good in the scene I'm gonna play with the rotation here a little bit 
it's a bit noisy, but if, if it goes just a few passes, uh, it gets it gets clean quite fast. Again, uh, I'm gonna increase the light samples multiplier to four, focus a little bit more of the direct, direct light sampling, enforce a little bit more of the direct direct light sampling, and therefore help with the clarity of the volume material. Let's make it a little bit more of an evening. Great. And let's just keep playing with the uh, with the direction of our sunlight. I want to get some nice highlight right here on this on this column. That looks kind of nice. This is what I was after. Okay, to make a uh, fog a little less strong, I can just increase the absorption distance so that uh, the fog scattering is not so not so strong. Uh, I mean, the fog density is not not so not so strong. Okay, and let's just let's just keep playing with the with the light angle and try to find some something that that would work okay I think I think I kind of I kind of like the way how how the light falls right here on the on the uh, the column on the right. So I'm gonna just keep messing with this a little more. I might I might want to have maybe some higher sun angle so we get some of the sunlight uh, touching the floor. And again, playing a little with the direction, so we get some of the more more light onto the column. Good. This is. I'm pretty happy with this. Let's go maybe 40 with the with the fog density. Decrease it a little bit more. I'm gonna go. I'll give up on the. Uh, on the uh, interactive rendering at the moment because uh, it doesn't converge very well uh, with the volume material. I'm, going, I'm just going to use uh, regular rendering from now on. Yep, I think this looks quite satisfying. Let's now try to play with some of the exposure parameters. Oops. Yeah, I I think this looks good, and this is this is what once rendered I would like to take uh, to the post processing. Maybe add just a little bit more of the of the fog density. Let's try like this. It's about God race, so we can really afford to just uh, overdo it when it comes to to the volume. Actually, that may have been a little too much, so let's get back to 40. Let's. Uh, this is so far looking good, but just to make sure, I wanna. Uh, I wanna try interactive render once more. If I, if I don't find any any better better light angle. 
Okay. So let's try to go maybe like this. If it does something. Hey, this is actually not bad. I wish I could get some more the light on the column, but this is... Uh, I'm not sure which one I like better. Let's try like in between those two values. Just playing with it right now. I think I found a sweet spot. Yeah, this is this is what I'm gonna go with. Uh, just one more thing. Oh, let's quickly just select my camera. If I can do that, it's getting harder with every new version of 3ds Max. Uh, and go to top view. Set my target distance to be somewhere on the table. Saving the scene because something odd is going on with the interactive render. Oh no, it's not. It was just locked in the top view. I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> Waiting for GI cache to finish. Shouldn't be too long. Okay, everything is in order. So let's just get back to the interactive render. Ah, uh, good. And last thing, let's just enable the, the field. Let's try a stop like 2.8. Let's see how blurry will this get. Is it even working? If I try like 0.1, it should be X3. Oh, it's working. Then let's go with two. Two will be nice value for, for the interior. It should be just slightly blurry here in front. And yep, it is. Okay, so I think this is, a, this is it uh, for this part. And basically, I'm now just gonna disable the perspective render. I'm gonna increase the resolution. And I'm going to render ahead and I'll see you in the next phase where I'll just uh, do the post-processing. Okay, so see you then.